Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizish.com and on this video tutorial I'm going to explain to you what www versus non www URLs are and how that affects the way you should be linking to your own content. So first let's answer the question, what exactly is a www versus non www URL? Alright, and I'm going to use Tizish.com as the example so I want to focus your attention to the URL up here. All right. So see the URL right here, www.tizish.com. All right. Notice that you can access, you can even do this on your own site. If I delete the www dot and I hit enter, watch how it still gets automatically put in. Other watch, you'll see in one second. And there it goes. You see how when the page just reloads, how it automatically gets inserted in, the, in there? Now same thing like if I go to the about page. Let's just go to the about page for example. And let's do the same thing. This time I'm going to go ahead and delete the www dot. And when I hit enter, it's gonna re it's gonna automatically come back in. Now, here's why I'm showing you this. I want you to do this on your website. Okay? Uh, try typing in your website with www dot and then try typing it without www dot. And which and find out and check if it forwards to one of them. Meaning your website should only be accessible through one version. If you could access your home page with a www dot version and then a non www dot version then your site is not set up properly for SEO and your links are not set up right. Um, here's the reason why it's a problem. Uh, it's, it's a problem because to Google, when they see www.tizish.com and, and what they're going to do is they're going to see one website and they're going to index that content. If they go to just straight tizish.com without a www dot and they actually land on a page that shows me the same con that shows Google the same content that it would show them on a www dot version then now I have a problem because to the eyes of Google I'm gonna have duplicate content issues because to them that's basically two different versions of the same web page and now I'm basically having duplicate content issues so what every good website should have it's called a redirect it's called a 301 redirect regardless of which version you choose you could have a www version or a non www version either way is okay so long as it's consistent across your entire website so check if your website is consistent and then choose one okay if it's not consistent tell whoever created your website tell them you want to hit 301 redirect this exact phrase you should use tell them you want to 301 redirect a your URLs to go to a www dot version of your site okay all your URLs should redirect to a www dot version or a non www. I just like the www for some reason. So anyhow, though, here's now here's how this affects your linking. All right, when you link to yourself, what you want to always link to yourself as is the same thing whichever your site has. So here's what that means actually. As you can tell, Tizish is set up to be www dot based. Meaning, if I even if I hit without www and I enter my site. When I, when I come to the site, it's going to force the www dot to show up. So basically, the point is when I link to myself, let's say I'm writing a blog article. You know, let's, we can go to any of these articles here. When I, when I link to my own articles, I'm always using a www dot version in my linking to myself. Okay? Now, basically for you, what you should understand is do the same thing. If your website has no www's, then only link to yourself without the www. If your website has it, then link to yourself always with the www. The whole point is you want to remain consistent in the way you link to each to yourself, so you don't create duplicate content issues. Now, obviously, if you have a site like set up like if we set up your site, or if you have a website with WordPress, they do this automatically, so you shouldn't really worry about it. Because even if I link to myself without the www, my main site's going to still get the credit because it's coded to always make the credit go to www. So that's why I had you check which one your site has. And if your site uh, can be accessed through both versions, then you have a problem. And make sure your webmaster web, or web people fix it by doing a 301 redirect to what to one version or the other. So that's everything for www dot version of this whole video tutorial. I created another video related to this exact same topic about trailing slashes. So check out that tutorial to make sense of this as well because this is directly related to duplicate content and linking to your website that could mess it up if you do it wrong or if your website's set up wrong. So look for the other tutorial on trailing slashes as well. All right. So that's everything. If you have any questions, go to facebook.com forward slash tizish and ask me there. Otherwise, 
uh, share this, like this, comment on it. Let me know if you actually got any value from it. All right. Well, take care.